Oh, yes, I have. Um, so, there have been a few stories like this. You're yeah. on benefits, you're spending a fortune on your kids' presents, you know, discuss. And clearly the son is not entirely in favour of this woman spending two grand. No, you'll pay as a headline. And I think this is such an incredibly mean story. Um, parents on benefits will scrimp and save for Christmas. It's a really big deal. Um, they're going out with things throughout the year. We know from research, actually, of parents living in poverty, they tend to go without quite basic things themselves, like skipping meals, putting the heating off when the kids are out at school in order to save money. And for these families, Christmas will be a really big thing and something to look forward to. And every parent wants to make Christmas as special as possible as they could can for their kids. Now, it sounds a lot, £2,000 on 66 presents but you know do the math that's about 300 pounds per child are we really saying that we're such a mean society that a child can't get 300 pounds of uh, you know why do they need 11 year? presents each though and and the argument a lot of people look in that figure is that's somebody who's being overpaid on benefits because well, people work very hard i think don't spend two thousand pounds on their, on their kids. Oh, I, never got I, I, know, I think, like, I think no. that's I think that's the wrong take. I think um, you know we, we know benefits are really stingy in this country. That mum will have gone out. That mum, no, you can't say that, Michael. That mum will have gone without. But that's what people will, gone will, will think looking at that. Well, well, I know, but that, that might be what they think. And I think it's quite damaging for the son to put a story like this on their front page. And what they're trying to do is really undermine, um, undermine the benefit system and suggest that people on benefits are kind of layabouts who sort of have loads of cash to spare. That's just not the case. Benefits are stingy in this country. They've been cut back. There's a benefits freeze. It's really affected families. This mum, I guarantee guarantee you will have gone without in order to provide for her kids at Christmas. And I think that's something to be celebrated. The point is, she shouldn't be going without. The money's there, obviously, to be paid for other things, like f for the kids. The fact that you've got this amount of money to save up shows, suggests that she's getting paid way too much money. And I think it just, again, to taxpayers who are just making ends meet and can't afford that amount, you know, even... By the way, a lot of people that work also go without. Let's not forget that. It's not like of if course, you're on... Work, so, people on minimum people... wage aren't spending money every week. You know, the fact that... I never and they said can't, that, and they can't, I know you didn't, I know you didn't, but they... You know, people that work very, very hard and also go without can't afford two grand to blow at Christmas. But you don't know, some Christmas of those presents, presents might be new pair of football boots for one of those children to go and play sport exactly. or something. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? You don't, we don't know what those but presents £2, are. But £2,000 to spend at Christmas on six kids is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, to a lot of working families, that's a, a, you know, an obscene amount of money that they could only dream of spending. So it clearly shows you're getting paid too much money. Cut the benefits. I, I, I think if we look at how much people spend on Christmas, it will be significantly more than that across quite a lot of families, I suspect. If you add it all up. Uh, final quick story, because we're running out of time, uh, is somewhere on there. Girl 15, left uh, stranded. Very right. small, okay. Yeah, very small. So um, this is a story, uh, the boss of, the chief exec of Timpsons, his daughter was getting the train by herself. She's 15, mm. she's a child from London to Crewe, and she wasn't allowed on the train she was booked on because she had a child ticket, and the ticket inspector said, You're not, you don't look like a child. And so she was left stranded at the station. She couldn't get the train she was booked on. And I have to say, I think this is an incredibly mean story, actually. Mm. I think when someone claims to be a child and it's a bit touch and go whether they are or not, there's got to be the benefit of the doubt there because they very well, may well be a child and you know unaccompanied person under the age of 16 mm. not letting her get on the train home for a dad to pick her up at the station at the other end I think there'll be a lot of parents who'd be quite worried about this mm. yeah, I mean mm. I think the train service in this country is a joke it's expensive we see story after story like this I mean this could have been a dangerous st story you know you can imagine a, a kid abandoned at a train station in the middle of the night just because some dog's body decides that he doesn't like that he doesn't think the kid's over you know the kid's an adult hard working, I mean. hard working person oh sorry mean. yeah, yeah. Well, is that, nationalization <laughs> is that the answer well, Michael well no but yeah, yeah absolutely I'll go for nationalization <laughs> there we go. Michael's I a family nationalization great. Tra train, train, well, uh, the train service in this country is out of order and uh, it's very expensive and you're getting decisions like this made I and mean, it's a shambles, isn't it? We will see you for more next time, won't we? Uh, including the prospect that Theresa May is going to ditch something next week, which you can tell us more about. Anyway, let's take a look at the weather.